Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll explain how to work with address lists on Microtic devices. An address list is a logical grouping of several IP addresses that allows you to apply an action to all the addresses in that group, such as those combined under a common subnet mask. It enables you to apply a rule to multiple IPs at once. Address lists are useful when you don't want to create multiple identical rules for different IP addresses. Instead, you can add these addresses to a list and then create a single rule that targets that list. If you're not quite sure yet why address lists are needed, don't worry. It'll become clearer as we go through the video. So, let's get started. We launch Winbox and connect to the Mikrotik device. Next, we go to the IP tab, then to Firewall, and then to Address List. Here, we click the plus button and see a window with the following fields. List minus. This is where we can see the name of the list. If we're creating a new list, we can type its name here. Address minus here. You can enter an IP address, an address pool, an entire network, or even a domain name. Timeout minus this field lets you set how long the address stays in the list. At the bottom, we can see the date and time when the address was added. Now let's look at how this works in practice. Let's create our first list and add a single IP address to it. This will be our first method of creating an address list. In the second method, we'll create a list and add an entire subnet of IP addresses. In the third, we'll create a list and add an IP range using a hyphen. In the fourth, we'll add a domain name. And as you can see, Mikrotik will automatically resolve and include all IPS associated with that domain. One more example, we'll create a list entry with a timeout, for example, one hour. This means the entry will be automatically removed after one hour. Now that we've looked at different ways to add addresses, let's explore how to use these lists. One use case I personally apply all the time is blocking. For example, let's go to the raw tab and create a rule that blocks all the addresses added to a specific list. Here's how. Click the plus button, go to the general tab, and then the chain field select pre-routing. Then in the source address list field, choose the list you want. You can also choose the interface this rule applies to, or leave it blank to apply it to all interfaces. Then go to the action tab and select drop. And just like that, we've created a rule that blocks incoming traffic from the IPS listed in test date 4 which, as we remember, includes IPs related to mail.ru. Let's look at another way to use these lists. Go to the Filter Rules tab and create a rule that prevents users from accessing specific websites on the internet. Choose the forward chain, this means transit traffic, select the address list containing the block destinations, set the protocol to TCP, and specify ports 80 and 443. Then in the Action tab, select Drop. You can also use the Inversion toggle. When enabled, this means air block traffic to everything except what's in the list. Now let's cover one more example. Let's say you want to protect access to your router via Winbox. We'll create some rules for that. First, open port 8291, which is the default port used by Winbox. Then create a rule to define an admin list, IPs you trust. Use the inversion flag so this rule targets everyone except those in the admin list. Go to the Action tab and select Add Source to Address List. Name the list EG ST Tonum 1 and set a timeout, say one hour, after which the IP is automatically removed. Place this rule higher in the list since firewall rules are processed from top to bottom. Next, create another rule. Now you don't need to reference the admin list again since it's already filtered out. Here, we work with the ST Tonum 1 list created in the previous step. All IPs from that list will now be added to another list. Let's call it Drop and this time we'll leave them there permanently. Then, go back to the raw tab and block everything in the drop list. In essence, this rule chain works like this. If someone connects to port 8291 and they're in the admin list, the firewall ignores them and doesn't process further rules. But if the IP isn't in admin, it goes through the chain, ends up in the drop list permanently, and then gets blocked by a separate rule. Keep in mind, this isn't a perfect setup, just an example of how address lists can be used in this context. To summarize, in this video, I showed you just a few examples of how to use address lists. There are many more ways. It all depends on your creativity and real-world needs. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.